What's going on people? Welcome back to That's A Wrap. Obviously week two, left everyone stumbling, left you too weak. Now it's week two, you think about that. <laughs> All right, people, like the socks I'm wearing, like the book I'm holding, we're holy over here. We told the truth with the Bible. Quazon, put your hand on that Bible. Do you tell the truth? I do. Big man, we're not getting married, but that I do can do. You think about that. So I'm going to tell the truth on this show. Not the truth from your perspective, the truth from mine. Maybe what I'm saying might not actually be true, but I think it is. I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm just saying this is what I think. And if I'm proven right, then I'm right. And if I'm wrong, I'm strong. Do you think about that? Last week, we addressed the beef. The burger come flying in my face. We address the beef and obviously saw some comments and some people were like you missed this out you missed out the skepta thing Doug we haven't got that much time so today I'm gonna bring up some of the things that I missed out when Chip responded he obviously brought up man like skepta's name and turn into the devil man I grew up on skeppy not devil man but wait there where's devil man get the picture hold the scripture devil man had something to say skepta responded the video Doug I see. I don't know why Chip mentioned my name, but Devil Man's trying to get attention again. Told you before, this year is the year where the real fake niggas get left in the rain. He's sitting down, he's hardly moving, it's like a shadow. Big man, that video there, I see man doing videos. 200 rentals, bare gold. But your video still weren't as good as Skepta's. He didn't even do nothing. He just sat down and built a little thing and kept it moving. And you man have got rentals out, you got that gal out. That's not real. Do you know why it's not real? Because the chains are not yours, the cars are not yours, the friends are not yours. How can the friends be in the video and they're not even your friends? But anyway, Skepta, so Skepta done a response. I was like, hmm, I'm rating that response. The other man responded, no disrespect to man, no one cared. We move on with life. <laughs> I said to myself, what's Chippy gonna do now? Chippy treated that thing like a seven-year-old up at 10 o'clock. He put it to bed. He does his track. Morgan Keys films it. Shout out Morgan Keys. But bad mind people bun them. I don't wanna hear no more problems. Quick time for an end to the nonsense. Man call me out, I came back, they came back, but they came back chatting nonsense. Has anyone responded since? <laughs> Chippy, give him a round of applause. In a circle, though. He kept it strictly lyrical and I think that's where it should live, people. Do you know what would be nice now? What would be nice for me is if everyone's just like, you know what, cool. It just keeps it cool now. I don't want no animosity. We're men. Little incident, we get over it and we move on. We keep this thing holy, dog. Biblical. Have you seen me in a Marks and Spencer's getting an organic milk for my mother or maybe two, two socks, you know, for the father? Please, don't beat me up. I'm keeping it holy, dog. <laughs> you know the Jamaicans take the H out? Holy. That's where I'm holy. <laughs> Jano. So respect to Chip, respect to Nasty, Bugsy, respect to you, respect to Saskilla, respect to all of you lot, making the scene exciting. You know I love the nastiness. I love the F3, I love a little trouble, dog. I love it, I mix up. Get the Ribena and the water, mix that. Tastes great, mix up, dog. That's the rap show. <laughs> Man Like Paul was at the Fecky show. Jeez. Hosting with the boy they call Squeeze. Old tight Arnold George, my brother. Hold tight Fecky. Good birthday show. You know what I mean? Everyone was down there. I love the fact that Fecky had a birthday bash and literally everyone was there. It's like their massive American events where all the top artists in the American scene go out and perform. That's what Fecky done. So yeah, Tempe T there. Krypton Conan. Man like Wretch. Chip. Beer people were there. Youngin. Youngin killed it. Man said I ain't on nothing. Big man, you are on the stage, you are on something. Jesus Christ, stop lying fam. You are on something, dog. But you know who I did love? I love the man them. I always got love for the man them. You see section boys? They come out on a crud. On stage just billing up smoke. I said, my lord. The man there, trust me. And there's a line from a particular song that I love. Tell my ex you can keep my jumper. All my old friends can delete my number. Tell my ex she can keep my jumper. I said, you know what? That's how you know the money over there is strong. Could you see me? Not my jumper. Not my, Bro. <laughs> Not my jacket. Hmm, let's see how this thing works. Not my muggy. Cheese! Look how muggy. Mm. Mm. Not my real aura. So anyway, I love the Section Boys because they, you know, they kept it real. They smashed up the stage. So Section Boys, keep doing what you're doing. I think the most refreshing thing about your approach, very authentic. So whole tight Section Boys, love what you're doing. Maggie break. Don't try this at home, kids. Something you should try at home is watching this interview because I caught up with the man, the legend.
I mean, the man they call Scorcher. My brother. He's a Spurs fan, but still got time for him anyway. <laughs> now, for those who don't know, I've been a fan of Scorcher. I remember when you clashed another guy called Scorcher on Axe FM. Mad. From South London. That's how much I'm in this thing. Mad. So them long days, time ago, yeah. long, I'm talking time ago, when I used to go to Edmonton to try and get on Axe FM and get robbed and just have to walk <laughs> home, but it was that true. I remember a song called Rendezvous. Mm-hmm. Now, that song got bad in my house. Mm-hmm. It then moved on to Lip Sync mm-hmm. Now, I was like, this man has basically got the galley in the ends on lock. <laughs> if you're in a dance with him, he's Mr. Still, your girl, your aunt, uh, your mum, everyone's gone. It's lockdown season when Scorch is there. So then you get signed. I'm gassed now. Because I'm like, raw, man, them in the ends got signed. But then you do a song called It's My Time. Now, from my perspective, I'm like, why did you do that, cuz? You had the girls on. You could clap your hands and say panties off, and it's just mad in here. It's looking like the realest, what the wildest porn you've ever seen. And then you done It's My Time. And it wasn't that I didn't like the song, it was that I didn't think it was the time for that type of song. Mm-hmm. What was the whole thinking behind that um, situation there? Do you know what's mad that? Like, people, there's like a perception that they think I made, I got signed and made It's My Time. Like, It's My Time was just another record that I made. Like, ah. So, the same time I'm making Rendezvous and all these other records, um, I made It's My Time. They, they, they heard the record and said, yeah, we want to sign it. So I said, like, okay, cool. Oh, so it wasn't a situation where in which no, it weren't like, it weren't like, yeah. You okay. got signed and then you made that song. No, that song was already there no, and they wanted to sign you off the basis of that song. Yeah, it was like, yeah, we, we we can work with this. We really like this, da 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 da, da. And so they they came and signed it. And then, so yeah, it was all right. It did, it did, it did what it did on Radio 1, etc. But I definitely, um, I definitely understand your point, though. Do you think it was a good career move? Because of the, because of the gas. You know what, it made, Because it made, Scorcher got signed, Scorcher got signed. Then I hate this my time, I'm like, what is it? Do you know, no, so do when you know, we're hard, ignorant? It's hard, to, it's hard to like, I can I can honestly say like, I don't think I, I wouldn't be in the situations that I'm in or certain opportunities that came off in the back of, it's my time wouldn't be there if I never did it. So it's a positive, but I don't know. You can, always, you can always do in everything you do, you can always do better. Like, yeah, I appreciate I that. could always look at it and say, oh, if I did this, then, you know, maybe da 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 da, but hindsight's a wonderful thing. But it's better to get out there, give it a go, and come again. Let's fast forward even further into me acting like an ass. Now, I must have jumped in a Duffy video. Tiny, I'm only playing. I'm just saying, no, my shit so hard, I'm constipated. Overworked, work, underrated, now my things popping off, no gun relation. I didn't have a clue what I was getting myself into. Genuinely. I heard the thing, I was drunk, I was like, yeah, I was drunk, we'll, we'll do what you want me to do, I don't really care. Like, I'm thinking, whatever, man. Then I've seen the final video when it's come out. So I never saw the video before it hits SBTV. Mm-hmm. It hits SBTV and all the people, remember, I'm saying I'm a fan. All the people I'm saying I'm a fan of, he is just rinsing in the whole shoe, whole, shoe, whole tune. Mm-hmm. So then I become a walking contradiction, a walking hypocrite. Because you'll see me on Twitter like, this man's cold, this man's cold. And then I'm alongside that P, cussing everyone, basically. From your perspective, when you've seen that, what is your what is your thinking? What are you thinking when you see? Look at this. What's he doing? I'll be honest with you. Like my initial thing is is it's, it's more like I just think people go along with stuff. Like yeah. when stuff's hot, it's moving, it's got momentum. You're not even really taking time to see what you're doing. You get me? Like right. Being an artist, I totally understand that, man. Not, like, man, don't. You, a man say, yo, yo, like, he's doing his thing. Yo, 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 yeah. I've got a video, can you jump in? Do a quick cameo for me. Of course, fam, not come on, it's a love, cuz. We do that, boom, bam. And then, <laughs> lo and behold, the song isn't really. I didn't really know. <laughs> like, who's gonna really know that that's going on? But obviously, it's, it's, it's just one of them things, man. I don't take things personally. I didn't. I didn't even take the dappy thing personally. Progress, I still roll for my hood and I wear my chain. Fuck a top boy, scorch rim, but she can't do the same. Real recognize real. Where did that even come from? Is it the fact that you was in Top Boy? I, I don't know, like, I was in the ends when he said it. I was from Bath anyway, so. Um, 
man, man, I'm, man are calling me like, because I, I didn't have a, any intention of doing a, a, a response. Because there's nothing to respond to. Like, what's there to respond to? I, I genuinely, I don't know the guy. He hasn't said anything insane if we're being honest it's not not really it's not, just it's just just the whole context of everything yeah and, and but then then um liam said my friend liam said yo cuz let's get him man <laughs> i love liam you know them so, and criminals so i uh, said all right cool and i'll tell you the truth i've always wanted to do i've always rated that beat that um du, 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 du. Cold. Cold. So I said, yeah, 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 Matt, put, the, put the studio. So, and, 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 and it was, yeah, man, I just went there. Bim bimmer, zim zimmer, zag a zag. Your T beanie man style with your nana nai. Go wet with what chain, that's a bag of lies. Unless you're 20 man deep with a bag of knives. That's the rap show. <laughs> now, girls, you don't think about Instagram as the holy grail. Let me break this down and use an example why well, this makes me sick. Amber Rose made a public plea to Wiz Khalifa to rekindle the love that they once had. Get back, sort it out, be in love again. Oh Wiz, I love you. Oh Amber, I love you. We're together, we're smoking weed, we're high, where's the child? This is after Amber Rose. Your little stunts that you were pulling, dog. And now you wanna show some love on Instagram? There's no option for love, dog. There's only <laughs> likes. You double tap that, you get like. Love don't live on Instagram. I'm thinking to myself, this love you claim to have. Where was that when you was whining up on Chris Brown in the club? <laughs> And you call that your brother. You don't whine with your sister. You don't whine with your brother. You might give wine to your brother, cause wine's quite nice, especially a red wine. But you don't give wine to your brother. You understand where I'm coming from? And then apparently you're doing something with French Montana. What? And now you wanna go back in a relationship like none of it happened because something you put on Instagram? Listen, let me break down Instagram. Insta, Insta is instant. Gram, that's weighing. So instantly you're weighing out your options. This is what man them are doing. Instantly weighing out their options on Instagram. How are you gonna try and find love on Instagram if your only option is like? What is going on with you lot? Double tap, I got a tap in my bathroom, dog. There's running water coming from that tap. That's all I need. That's the only double tap I need. The hot and the cold. I don't want to double tap on Instagram. I see man doing poses looking at nothing. You're posing like this. The camera's there, what are you looking at over there, dog? Bird, you're bird watching. Instagram is just another form of entertainment. For some people, it's a way of them displaying their work. It is not where you go looking for love. That's like going to a brothel for a hug. You're in the wrong place. I can't deal with it. That's the rap show. <laughs> it's your boy Hydro, and you're now watching That's a Rap Show. <laughs> Style. Basically, I've been doing music for about four years now, I would say. I mean, it all started in secondary school, year eight. We would be in um, RE, just going mad on the table, like with the pencils, the rulers, everything, like, sort of thing. And we weren't the best um, at the time, but we knew with a lot of practice and just time that it can maybe take us somewhere one day. And yeah, here we are. Yeah. Everyone does music, fam, but mine is different. Dedication, that's a minor mission. Mm. And I'm always nick off snappy, that's why the logo got a smiley in it. Yeah, surrounded by this materialistic world in a different realm. Where we get what makes me different from other UK artists, I would say, is that when you look at a Hydro video, it's like, it's such a different dynamic from the norm. It's like, you don't know what to expect with Hydro. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, man, like, I just go for it. I don't really care about, like, what the trend is at the time on stuff like that. I just go with my flow. Guys think I can't speak, my boy, I spit ill. It gets mad for guys that get petrified when I hop on the rhythm and do it ill. How you gonna move with no will? It's sad how there's bare mannequins, bare traveling red. I've been here for the things spitting so fast. Bro, ski, the image won't last. Car. The best highlight of my career so far, I would say, is the work that I got to do with Channel 4 on a series called Youngers. It was amazing just the 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 way i was treated and 
you know, the experience, the people I met on there, just realising that, yeah, these people are just a contact away, do you know what I mean? And the reports that I built with them was amazing, man. I couldn't ask for, ask for anything else, bro. It was amazing. Don't go Benny Hunt is still styling in my jeans. This the outer space flow that see me see in your dreams. Of a different sort of lifestyle, plot my talent that made it work, yeah. In the shoe like me. Well, what you can expect to see is a lot more music. Um, I'm dropping my tape. It's called. A, uh, we ain't really got a name for it yet, but that's basically in the pipeline. Basically, ready for you guys. Um, we've got the tours coming up in the year also. So wherever you are, I'm gonna pop up with T Loco and shut it down, sort of thing. So yeah, just watch out for Hydro, man. I'm coming. JD for breakfast, done the spitting on races when extra the grass low, we left and been on for a second. Play for the stress of cover any discovery love. Seen niggas have that was Hydro. I love Hydro. That's my brother, man. Got mad love for him. Good positive energy as well. All right, it's time for the cipher. And the person that's gone through in the first cipher is. Came down! That's who won last week's cypher. Obviously, last week, everyone that voted, thank you so much. So, how can I announce this week's cypher without the cypher board, please? Cheers! Man like cypher board, you know? All right, this week we have Little C. She's not big. Tragic. Mm. Christian King. An eclipse. You know the rules, everyone. So you know how it goes. If you don't, this is how it goes. You leave the name of the person who you want to win and hashtag cypher. That's it. Simple. Always trying to be one step ahead of ya. Nothing worse than knowing you're a star and living regular. Never kill the soul, but go against you, man. I'm dead in ya. Do your thing, they'll come for you, man. I'm telling ya. Ah, uh, it's like I live better when I'm pissed off. When I'm bought every colour pair of nights, cause I was ticked off. This is my space shit, time for lift off. Time to put me on, man, your shit's off. <laughs> I don't really care what you did say. Roll with white girls, but my swag's Kunta Kinte. I don't smoke what, you know I be high when I roll up. Oops, I took the piss, and I did it on your mixtape. They're running from me like I got a 10 on my back. Bang, bang, that was for you regular yes. Live out in the country, but put my head in the flats. You say you're an animal, but here's a vet for you rats, yeah. Good girl, never gone bad, but might catch me in a whip that your don has, yeah. Sees here, it's time to reach for the stars. You're lucky that I only had 16 bars. I'm like, Jesus, the way the bread and mold applies, they see the moves but never see the you. I'm like a poltergeist. Teams wanna try send. No, I'm not the guy. You see separation, I'm on the Moses hat. I know a load of guys, brothers that are cold as ass, brothers that will put on nose blubbers just to hold your ass. Yeah, I got a young face, I'm a poser, right? So I make a girl strip like it's coconut. Brothers tell a load of lies, claiming that they're whipping that bends. When they're ticking that bends, yeah, it's no surprise. I'll be getting hoes tonight. A hotel in a hotel telling me that she's gonna moan tonight. I'm not boasting, right? I'm just being honest. I'm a fast mover, man. I'm just being sonic. Ask why I make a girl be your ex. That's a padding. If I feed her, the shots ain't stopping. Setting the light to this, spitting the truth from righteousness. Militant mood as I write this shit. Getting a booth and ignite it quick. They recognize the kid. Let me remind them quick. I was known for terror, something like ISIS. Is. Growing since a flash marvel. Grew up on Dizzy Kane. Wiley gets Marshall. I'm nothing like these other rappers. I've got substance to sell out, I'm less partial. I want a legacy like Thierry when he left Arsenal. The truth is that they want us all afraid. Hiding from myself, scurrying like Gollum in a cave. Riding in stealth, aggressively just lost up in a maze. With a pocket full of change, we've forgotten where we came. When you think of the potential that we have, it's detrimental that we lack simple harmony. I ain't a preacher or a future world leader, I'm just trying to bring the truth back to the artistry. Yo, eat to the killer verse, even if you kill it first. I reincarnate and spark hate as I spit a curse. Microscopic through your optic, call this one a lyric germ. They don't want to know it's till they're choking as their spirit burns. That's a rap when I rap, straight jackets can't contain. Psychosis when I'm flowing, so you know it be insane. Put the mental in the intro, dopamine to the brain. And that's a Thai food wave, yeah Cause I'm a threat, they don't recognise yet I am dressed like a goon, but I have always been a lyric nerd Enzyme the verse and break it down to how the lyrics work Bars send them girls straight here, that's a lyric perm Amazed at how the lyrics work Mize me on the mic, Austin Powers and your man remain miniature If I be your feature, that's your 16, 6 feet deep from the wordplay Know that I am a lyric person, but That's the rap show <laughs> 
that was a cipher. I'm rating that. Getting kind of hot in here, you know. Mm, you know you start getting the doves. Release me. Release me, doves. Oh, man. I always get really upset at this part, but I need to say some shout-outs. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Posty. Bernard. Bernard. Thank you, Caroline. Sketchy. Phil. Thank you down to Janelle. Janelle. Whole of I Love Live. John. Shout out Mitch. Scribs. Bolt. Yasmin. Yasmin Evans. Love her. Maya. Shy. Absolutely love you. Shout out everyone at Exposure PR. You lot do big things for me. Josh. Shireen. Loving you lot. Can't lie. Shout out everyone at Nike. Yeah, man. Mm. Shout out, listen, on the Twitter, I couldn't believe the love. There was so much, I'm gonna forget some, but Rude Kid, thank you. Wretch, thank you. JME, thank you. Dan from Heavy Trackers. Dan, you are the man. I can't even stress it any more than that. For Janik, thank you so much. Every single blog that is posting us, thank you so much. Rewind, man loves you. Shout out SK Vibe Maker. Shout out the whole rin shout out whole of Radio One Extra. Man, we'll just say them together, you know, because it's all love, it's unity here. Shout out Kiss FM, how about that? Kappa <laughs> Electra, Manny Norte, Reggie Yates. Bro, <laughs> that shit. Bro, just shouting at anyone now, innit? Thierry Henry. Bro. Alright, shout out Confect. Miles, Joel, TJ, Sass, my brothers. Shout out Courtney. Shout out Taser Black. Taser Black is the lightest skinned black person I know. All that's left to say is, I'm Poet, that's Quazon. And everybody, like a chicken deli, that's... Make sure you go over and check out That's A Bonus. That's right after That's A Wrap. So we wrap something up and then we give you a bonus. It's almost like, you know what? Oh, that present's sick, fam. Thank you for that car. Guess what? Take a cheeseburger to go in your car as well. That's right, we gave you that cheeseburger. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're leaving comments.